Good morning, wonderful people. Today is day two on the Royal Caribbean Library of the Seas, and it's time to have some fun. Today we have a fun day at sea, and we're gonna have so many activities planned. I see you guys once the activities start. <music> signed up for my boogie board classes. I'm actually gonna try and stand up during this uh, surf lesson. I think it's like five other people. And uh, hopefully I get this blue wristband. Right now I got a white wristband. He said it's a high likelihood that I would get a blue wristband after this, um, as long as I've done something like this before, which I've been on several different Royal Caribbean cruises and I've done this before. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited. Hopefully I get this blue wristband. And the thing about this one, this was only $69 for me to do. So if you guys want to do this, uh, it's early in the morning, it's like 8 a.m. Um, but you can come out here and do this for $69 and they teach you how to do it. But anyways, let me focus up and get ready to get out there and get on some waves. Um, so, welcome, it's actually on the wristband. Yep. So this was just a quick introduction for the start of the class, just make sure everybody knew all the rules and knew everything that was going to happen during the class. You wouldn't believe how excited I was to actually go into this class and when I saw that water rushing, I was so ready to go and ready to hop out there on that wave. But I know I had to wait a little bit longer for the class to start, but once the class finally started, I had the time of my life. Here we go, let's get started with the class. Starting off, they just wanted to make sure that you have the basics first before standing up on the flow rider. Here goes take one of me standing up. I don't side off the best, but hey, at least I tried. So when you get there, the instructors try to give you a little bit of instructions and then they also give you instructions out on the wave so you can have the best chance to stand up. And sometimes it seemed like he wanted it more than I did, but at the end of the day, these guys were awesome. Huge shout out to them. As you see, my first try was a epic failure. Here goes round two. I did a little bit better than the first time. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love that they actually hold you on the wave to let you get your balance before completely just letting you go. This was a big perk of taking a class, especially early in the morning without a lot of people. That I didn't feel rushed and I feel like I gained a lot of skill when doing this class this way. So one thing that I saw was a big issue with this is that in the middle it has like pretty much like a rogue jet wave coming through and that's what makes you fall so easily. So I tried my best to stay away from it but the instructor kept pulling me right towards it. Here is take three of me on the flow rider. As you see I get a little bit better right here but I'm still not there yet. Here goes take four. I actually learned how to regain my balance once hitting that rogue wave in the middle right there. However, later on in the cruise, I learned a little bit more of what I was doing wrong as a beginner flow rider surfer. So if you wanna learn more about what I was doing wrong, just wait until day four and you will see exactly what I was doing wrong and how I was able to stand up on my own. So remember, like, share, and subscribe, especially if you wanna see day four, but if you wanna see all my other activities as well. So that's the end of our surf lesson today. 
and since it was so early in the morning, I headed over to the Windjammer to get me some breakfast. So here we go. Let's get ready to head over to the Windjammer. All right, everybody, so I just got finished up at the Flow Rider. This time I didn't get the blue wristband. I'm gonna try and get it before the end of this trip. I think I did good. I had one that I stood up for like maybe 10 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, but yeah. But since we did the Flow Rider so early, um, now we're about to try and go get us some breakfast. Then after that, we're gonna see what else we can get into. All right, I'll see you guys in the Windjammer. All right, everybody, so I've made it to the Windjammer. And right now, I have me some uh, hash browns. Bacon, French toast, and I got an omelet on the way. So I'm sitting here, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast, and uh, after that, I think we may uh, go try and get on the floor ride again, maybe rock climbing. I might go get in the pool. I might just walk around the boat. Or I might go play mini golf. I think that's what I might do, play some mini golf. So, me enjoy my food, and I'll see you after I finish eating my food. Before going to mini golf, I actually stopped to get me some ice cream because we all know no cruise is complete without ice cream. All right, everyone. So now I'm on the way to mini golf, and uh, I decided to stop and actually get me some ice cream because you know can't ever cruise without not getting ice cream. But yeah, so we're walking over to mini golf. I'm getting a couple of swings in today. Hopefully, I do great. See you on the mini golf course. All right, everybody, so we just made it to Liberty Dunes on the Liberty of the Seas. This is the mini golf course on board Liberty of the Seas, and I had a blast except for one thing. There were so many kids around. I believe on this cruise that was doing it where if you bought a room that you was able to bring your kids free. So I had to kind of rush through the golf course. So eventually I got to the point where I was like, ah, forget it. And I just went ahead and went to the belly flop competition. But before I did that, I got a cool couple of shots and looked at the ocean because what else do you come on a cruise for besides, you know, looking at the ocean and enjoying it and taking in all the fresh air. But yeah, so right after this shot here, we're going to get ready to head over to the belly flop competition and have ourselves an awesome time. But anyways, here we go. Let's go to the belly flop competition. All right, everyone, so the belly flop competition is about to start, and I must say that I have never missed a belly flop competition on all cruises I've been on. They have always been fun, and this one is even better. This is probably one of the best ones I've been to, so make sure that you're watching, and go ahead and enjoy. Thank you. 
We all got to jump together, and if you're down the pool, be ready for the waves and the tsunami. It's coming your way. Get ready. Three, two, one. Alright everybody, so we just finished up the belly flop competition. Now I'm about to head over to the Windjammer for a quick uh, lunch meal. Then after that, I'm gonna hit up the ice skating rink. I'll see you guys at the Windjammer again. Alright everyone, so I had a little light lunch here at the Windjammer. I had some pork chops and some stir fry noodles. Right after this, we're gonna get ready to head over to the ice skating rink to see if we can go ahead and ice skate. So I'll see you guys near the ice skating rink. All right, everyone, so I just finished up in the wind jammer. Now I'm about to go sign up for ice skating. I think the next time that ice skating is available is at four o'clock. So I'm gonna go sign up for ice skating, change it to some pants, and then I'll see you guys on the ice skating rink. All right, everyone, so the ice skating rink was full. There are no slots today nor tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to the top deck and I'm gonna chill and watch the sunset. Okay, I'll see you guys on the top deck. I couldn't believe that my cruise was almost already halfway over, but however, I still sat there and enjoyed it. I enjoyed the sunset and I enjoyed the nice cool ocean breeze. Up next, I'm going to get ready to go to the show. It's called In The Air. It's one of the Royal Caribbean production shows and it was amazing. I'll see you guys once it's time for the show. Alright everybody, so I just finished relaxing up on the deck. Now I come to see the production show In The Air. And you guys gonna have pretty much a front row seat. So we're gonna sit here and chill, wait for the show to get started, and I'll show you guys the production show in the air. All right, everyone, so the show has started, and I must say, this is an amazing show that Royal Caribbean has put on. I must say, on every single ship that I put on, all their shows have been spectacular. Even the ice skating show from last night was really great. It's amazing to see how much effort Royal Caribbean puts into all their shows on all the cruise ships, and it looks like they put a lot of money into it as well, so that's also awesome. That means that they care about their passengers a lot and care about having the best reputation for the best shows at sea. But anyways, I want you guys to watch the rest of these little snippets and enjoy them until I see you after the show. All right, everybody, we just finished up at the show and it was amazing. Royal Caribbean always go above and beyond. I'm only gonna put a little uh, clip it, like little small snippets in there for you guys to see. You gotta come see it yourself. Anyways, I'm gonna go get me some dinner and then I'm gonna call it a night. So I'm in the vlog here, two storm out, much love.